This story starts with failure. I was in a competition to trap my friends, the last one standing wins, but my trap was so close to working, nearly got him. Yeah, no, it was an embarrassing failure, but to make matters worse, they kept making fun of me. Jaren, I liked your video. I like when you failed. Shut up, Planet Lord. You tried to get me with a stair trap. Bring, bring. That's the babies calling. They want their idea back. So I tried more traps. This one, you think if you break the diamond block, you die, but it's actually the blocks around it that are trapped. How did this not kill him? He literally stepped on a landmine. But I realized I was thinking too small. I was using a sniper rifle to shoot a rat, a stupid little rat. So what if the trap was big? And no better way to put this, it's like we're carpet bombing them with anvil. Mathematically, if we drop enough, eventually they'll die. I wanted 10,000 anvils because it's a lot and it looks good in the title. But I did the numbers and... Uh-oh, that's a lot more iron than I thought. But we needed 10,000 anvils because the odds of hitting someone with just one is nearly zero. I know that because I tried. Okay, but in my defense, he was already looking up at a giant wormhole above me. I don't know how it got there, freaking... What am I supposed to say about this? It's a wormhole. I assume the wormhole wasn't built, rather placed in the server because one man, Spoke, has found access to an exploit on this server. This exploit basically gave him the power to do whatever he wanted. It's kind of like being the president. So the trap where people and I confronted the server owner to be like, hey man, you should ban this guy. Which Parrot, the server owner, responds, I can't. And we were like, what, did he pay you off? And he's like, no, I banned him. And then he unbanned himself. Sure, now there's an unstoppable god running around the server, but that didn't quench my thirst for crushed by anvil blood. So I built an iron farm that would produce the iron equivalent of 130 anvils an hour. That, that, that doesn't make it seem like a lot, but that's a lot of iron. By the end of Saturday, I was 95% done with the farm. It then took two more days to move six villagers. There weren't any excuses. I was just being lazy, but I knew I couldn't get away with that because there was a rumor at the time spreading around that the server is ending in six days. Now I thought that was hyperbole. People have been saying that for months, but then something terrible happened. Drake joined the server. At this point, I realized I'm incredibly behind. So I panicked and started asking if anyone had iron sitting around, risking my opponents finding my plan. But even after a year in the season, nobody had an iron farm or at least a useful one. I'd be told, oh, I have an iron farm at an old base. You can take all the iron from that. All 70. Thanks, Prince Zam. Can't wait to craft two anvils. So that then led me to a voice call where I lamented to my friends that freeloaders aren't getting the respect they deserve these days. But my friends responded, hey, you know, if Spoke owes you a favor, you could ask him to exploit some iron for you. That was a brilliant idea, but sadly, Spoke didn't owe me a favor. So I lied and said he did. Hey, you guys, you know how you told me to ask Spoke for all the iron? Yeah. He literally just gave it all to me. Dude, it worked. No, we I love knew it. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> now I shouldn't complain. Spoke did save me a bunch of time, but he put the iron in the most inconvenient spot and only enough that I could craft 8,000 anvils. Guys, I can't put that in a title. Nobody will click if it's less than five digits. So I was back to my iron farm, which now produces 3,000 iron an hour. All I had to do to finish the farm was get enough bread to feed the villagers so they would give birth to six more. That sounds incredibly simple, right? Yes. Absolutely, but it took me until Wednesday to complete that, three days before the server ends. It's not like I was lazy on purpose, I just couldn't be bothered. But deep down, I knew I needed to stop being lazy, but being lazy is too fun. So, I held my own intervention. Who should be on the intervention team? Now, I'm the only person that's going to be there, but don't include anyone who your loved one dislikes. Shoot. Might sabotage the intervention. Oh, shoot. Now, I don't know how, but it worked. I had put together a plan that didn't just consist of existential dread. One item we needed for the trap was a lot of scaffolding. So I harvested the bamboo from the local why in the world is bamboo growing here that really every server has, then stole string from an abandoned mob farm. Then on my way home, I passed by that giant Drake pixel art and noticed he is looking pretty whitewashed. So I, uh, I harvested Drake's face for iron. What in the world is this video? Moving on! Wait, 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 what did I just find? There's literally a com- just a command block here! How to... break command blocks. Is that a thing? Wait a minute, brilliant idea. I'm gonna go steal some redstone real quick. 
Oh, <laughs> this is how we summon him. What if we got two of these going? Wait, what? He stopped it. I think that's a win. I actually kind of needed that. Besides a few more tasks, I'd finally put in enough time to get everything for the anvil trap. But then I received a call from the other trap war members about the wormhole that I said we shouldn't worry about. We should worry. They said in three days, Spoke is going to open the wormhole, letting in hundreds of content creators with the sole goal to kill us. Now, when I say us, I don't mean a hundred YouTubers to kill the 25 members. I mean us three specifically. There's literally a bounty on our heads. All because we said that we are against exploits. But am I wrong though? I need to record this crap. Oh, Yo, how do I get, I need to get to the nether roof. Oh no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> what is this? Hey bro, what is this doing? What is what is oh and as cool as this stuff is, bro, I'll be so excited to go back to normal life still. Oh yeah. Me too, bro. Me too. Yeah, I bet you're sick of it too. So listening to my intuition, I leaked my entire trap plan to the three of them. Here's the thing, if I was going to survive with bacon and planet, I couldn't be trying to kill them at the same time. Oh wow. What happened here? But I had a goal and I wasn't going to throw all of this away because guess what? Hundreds of people joining the server to kill us kind of sounds like hundreds of targets. Oh, another button. This, this should not be here. <laughs> oh my, oh my goodness. Who's God now, huh? <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave this be and let everyone else deal with this. What ruins an anvil trap is when you drop five of them, but because they stack, only two hit the target. That's why I damaged the anvil so close to breaking that a tender sneeze could destroy them. So when it fell onto our target, it would break, fall, break, fall, break, dead. The first method to damage the anvils was to drop them onto a lower platform, then collect them all to drop again. Bacon Waffle showed up to help, but only ended up saying, dude, you're so dumb, you could make this much easier with redstone. So I was like, oh, how? And he was then like, I don't know, that's your problem. Uh oh. Oh, frick! Oh, oh, my God. Get out! Of the way. <laughs> this is it. This is the anvil breaker, just right above the poverty line. What it does is you drop the anvils, they fall, take damage, then get pushed to drop again, take another thing of damage, then falls onto a torch, which turns them into an item to go into a chest. I know. It's ugly, but it worked so well, except for the times it didn't, but it broke all 9,000 anvils. Yes, I lied in the title, frick you. That checked everything off the list, so I looked for a spot for the trap until, oh my goodness, the wormhole opens in an hour. So I built the trap right where I was. The spot was an open field near spawn, so that couldn't be a bad idea. It was a bad idea. See, it's right next to spawn. What if people find the trap when I'm not here? Which is likely, it's a giant tower and the odds they don't break the scaffolding. All I'm saying is one in 7.5 trillion has happened before. There might've been enough time to move the trap, but I was just already so stressed and dead set on just getting this trap built that I just put it where it stood. And then I left it unsupervised to go meet up with the three heart trio. They gave me 10 extra hearts and then we just kind of sat around and sang our kumbayas just waiting for the dreadful wormhole to open. All right, who's ready to figure out what the wormhole is? Me, me, me. I want to see the wormhole. Me. Uh oh. I, everyone's frozen. Everyone's oh, frozen. Yeah. Wait, wait. Yeah. Hold it back I, I can't. Oh my what? god. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's the wormhole. Gentlemen, the wormhole. Welcome to the wormhole. Okay, okay, oh. guys. This is it. This is real. We knew this was going to happen. Which is why we've been preparing We're so hard. We're geniuses. People say there is no greater calamity than to underestimate the strength of your enemy. We did exactly that. Yeah, it turns out our targets are getting netherite. We can't take a 4v100, so we thought we could just run away. There is no greater calamity than to underestimate the strength of your enemy. What? Columbus just here. teleported to us. And Bormeth Mark Bormethius. They can teleport to us. So we tried fighting in the river. Nobody was trained for this. It was incredibly laggy. But there is no greater calamity. Oh, wait. This guy kind of sucks. <laughs> Bormy thinks he can shoot me in the water. Now, I just left mid-fight because I don't care to kill the exploiters. I needed to check on my anvil trap. Cowardly, maybe. But you know what they say. Ruling a big kingdom is like cooking a small fish.
I don't know what that means. We took a wide path around the world spawn to get to the anvil trap so nobody would see us. Once we concluded that the anvil trap was gone, which, oh sorry, big surprise, we tried to get out as fast as possible to set up another trap. Well, until Spoke put another bounty for nuclear weapons on our head. I had three people on my tail, but look at this. They were doing no bro, damage. Bro, they have done two hearts of damage to me. This is awesome. <laughs> it turned to six. They were nakeds, but nothing scared me. I guess that's why they called her Delilah Dot. Oh, frick. That was not the worst thing to happen. We re-geared to build the trap, so Spoke leaked our new spawn and the exploiters camped it. We got back together and our straight up coordinates got leaked constantly. I think I got away. Nope. Ten gods are after you. Let's be honest. The anvils were more of a distraction than anything. Those can't kill God. But at this point, we don't have to. How embarrassing would it be if you had insta-kill weapons, but you still got hit by three little children's anvils? So we met up at an old base of ours for one last attempt. Come here, Planet Lord. Okay, take these. Let's get started. This is so stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. What a dumb idea. We're putting so much trust in these people to not knock this down early. Yeah, I know. I know. That's why I said we maybe don't really that's have a why. <laughs> <laughs> me too, oh. Bacon, me too. There's no way people walk under this. <laughs> not, like in what universe can people walk it's under this? Perfect. Wait, just trust, bro. Oh, so what if we're just, okay, so we're just gonna be standing in the middle and we're just like- So someone's down in the hole and they're like, Prince Zam will be like, I'm gonna come kill them. So you want us to lure Zam in there? Yes. Well, it's just Zam needs to be under these anvils. Is this enough? I think it's enough, yeah. In what universe is this where do people fall for this? Oh, this is fire. What do you mean, Here's the bro? thing. Here's the thing. But if you're chasing someone, you're not going to be, ooh, looking up. You're looking at them. Yeah, this is just like a bit of unfinished build project. Messing okay, up so we're going to have him leak the cords a little bit farther away. And then... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to look up, man. He goes, coming. That Someone's coming. Oh, shoot. Me and I ran oh, shoot. Piece. What They're on us! Oh, Pink is here! Ah! Uh, Clutch to you. Oh, right, go, go, go! Run, run, run! I, I have a couple. Run! Here, do you need more? Do you need more? Oh, shoot! Awesome. I got yeah, yeah. caught! Oh, he oh, popped no, me! Yeah, he's okay. popping me! Thanks. Alright, break it, break it, break it now! Break it now, break it now! Oh, my God. oh go, my God! Go, 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 go! Oh, my God. You did not I... break it! Ah! Oh, shoot! No! Frick! It's, it's not breaking yet, it's not breaking yet, it's not breaking yet! He's coming, he's coming, dude! No, just stay alive, just stay alive! He's gonna get me! He's gonna... Please! It worked. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's it go. On there is no greater oh, calamity no, than to underestimate the strength of your enemy. Wow, I am glad that trap worked out the entire time. Man, I was so worried I'd have a terrible ending to this video. I was gonna say goodbye here, but that felt incredibly tacky, so outro. Outro.